Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. We have the brand new trailer for the Villa map for Operation Palabellum. So enjoy and I'll be right back with an in-depth review. So guys, the trailer looks incredible. This is our brand new map, Villa. It looks beautiful. Probably the best looking map I've ever seen from Six Siege. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks pretty big. So let's go through it. You can obviously see this is the exterior view. We've got a perimeter wall around the entire thing. And it looks like we can access the outer side of that perimeter wall. So I think most of the spawn points will probably be on the other side of that wall to reduce spawn killing. I think it looks pretty good. Um, from what we can see there looks to be a lot of windows a lot of access points and if we actually move on there's an access point on the roof if we go back we can see there's actually two of them so i think we can get into both of those areas in order to access the roof which is great it's been a long time since we had a roof access on a dlc map this shot off the side of the villa gives us a real indication of how we're going to get in you can actually see most of the windows and doors on the exterior are non-breachable so we're not going to be able to get in those. You're going to see there's one breachable window that we can see in this shot. So it's not as many windows as I thought from seeing the original artwork. You can see obviously we have a balcony access point here too. And a nice big way in down the ground floor too. We get these lovely shots of the garden. Potential spawn point here. Lots of cover. Looks like you can cover right into that balcony area. Which I think is going to be a, a great run out for defenders. And we get this other beautiful shot. It's absolutely gorgeous map. And then moving on, we get this one, which obviously has an Assassin's Creed logo on the little water fountain here. Now, we already have an Assassin's Creed Easter egg in Skyscraper, so I'm not surprised we're seeing another one, especially on this map, because it kind of totally fits into the Assassin's Creed style. We've got this expansive garage here, and you can see the doors are already open. No reinforcements, so you can't go and block that off so it's just an immediate access point for the attackers i could see a lot of nice gun battles happening in here seems to be pretty spacious a lot of places for the defenders to hide and that will be i think a really popular way to go in and maybe you can get a cheeky kill if you're a defender there but of course no way to reinforce up so that would not be an objective room at all but a nice way for attackers to get into probably the lowest of levels there then we've got the cellar here and this was shown in one of the teaser trailers we've already seen. And you can see that we've got quite a, a big expansive area down here. Like it's massive, really huge. I was expecting to be like three times smaller than this. But it looks gorgeous, a lot of beautiful artwork. And if we move along, we can see that we get to see these uh, wine barrels, I guess. And this reminds me of Chalet a lot. Quite similar layout actually and size, to be honest. And looks pretty good quite well lit which i like like a lot of maps we've been getting a bit dark this is nice bright map from what we see anyway so it's nice and clean now going upstairs we can see a brick floor so i mean it doesn't look like we can breach that floor and you can also see above us it doesn't look like we can breach that either and at least that's my guess but we have one breachable wall at the back there and looking at the size of the piano this is a bloody big room it's huge absolutely massive but gorgeous then we have this kitchen which i originally thought was like on the basement but may actually be ground floor you can also see we have a breachable roof above us which is great but no breachable surfaces on the walls that we can see it seems to be a really well defendable room that now we have one of the staircases i'm guessing one of many staircases nice and big very light you can see that there's no natural light coming in above us. So I'm not sure if this is potentially one of the access points from the roof or not. 
it might be that's further up perhaps i don't know but again gorgeous really beautiful then we appear to have a american president on the wall in an italian villa we'll get to that later though because we actually get an explanation for where all this artwork is coming from and uh, we've got breachable surface on the right and that kind of looks like it for breachable surfaces although i would say the roof is destroyable which means you could shoot down and uh, give you a nice nice bit of ver vertical attack in which is something that uh, towers complain about a lot it doesn't have any verticality to it even though it's a skyscraper it doesn't actually have any vertical gameplay because you can't shoot through any roofs so the floor again seems to be brick so i don't think you can break through that i'm thinking probably ground level we're on here then we've got this beautiful corridor absolutely gorgeous i would say that the two windows on the left hand side are actually non-breachable i think they've got their shutters closed i don't think it'll be a breach into them you can see that the roof is completely destructible from the looks of it and i would even say the floor might be breachable too although not obviously the the walls right pretty much every single wall we see here is solid you'll also see those archways on the right hand side which i think we see later too and then we've got this kind of junction between three different rooms we can see definitely some breachable walls here but also some really solid walls as well the next shot then takes us into that room with the big painting and gives us kind of an, an idea of how big that room is it's not that large then i think we're upstairs here in one of the bedrooms that appears to be a breachable window because you can see sun coming in whereas you see the non-breachable window out there in the corridor and it seems to be like a double corridor it's quite interesting i don't even know if maybe that goes out to a balcony quite an interesting layout big room though again huge room like every room in this damn place is massive then we've got like a gun vault type thing here with like old school weapons in it and of course a little easter egg we've got sledge's hammer and then moving on in we've got i guess who lives here does a lot of hunting and this seems to be a trophy room really nice you can see those archways again we've seen earlier in the corridor reachable floor it looks like and i would guess from the beams above us that we're probably on the top floor here so beautiful room very big again like every room just you see massive so there we go that is our brand new map villa now we also have a blog post to go along with this and this confirms the name of the map which is villa and the villa was uh, specifically designed to offer a competitive showdown so we'll have to see how that actually plays out when we get to play the map uh, it sets the stage for a diverse gameplay providing wide staircases narrow tunnels and secret hatches i'm guessing narrow tunnels is probably ways into the basement from outside that'll be interesting i really wonder what the hell secret hatches is i'm hoping that's something brand spanking new that could be really cool like a hatch that's just completely hidden of course you'd be able to learn what it is but it would be nice if it was maybe i don't know disguised as something else that'd be awesome and don't let the lush decor fill you the villa is deadly some of its floors are destructible and can be and can fully expose you which is really cool it's a lot of destructible surfaces the land belonged to the i'm not gonna get this right the vinsegura uh, a dangerous crime family known for smuggling activities so they basically found out that operation palabellum was happening and they left so they fled and they left all their this area uh, like all their order and their fancy art that they've been collecting so i guess that's why we have a picture of the american president on the, the wall so there we go and that is going to be a full reveal for this season will be may 19th to the 20th but next week we'll get a trailer for brand new operators so i can't wait for that usually we get them teased in this video for the map but we did not so so i can't wait to see those new operators in action anyway guys thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time